All right, here with Coach Tom Griffin after Carson Newman takes down Belmont Abbey 7-3. to three. Coach, i got to go right to your pitching staff. You allowed just two hits all day long. Your bullpen at one point retired 12 straight batters. Tyler Shaver was good. What did you think of the effort that all of your arms were able to give you? The effort was tremendous. The ability to use both sides of the plate, especially to elevate the baseball the way they did. Again, when pitchers have success, we always talk about what the catcher's doing to help that. And when you've got a veteran like Ethan Goforth working with a freshman who's got some stuff and be able to corral and get him to um, pitch to his strength, to the hitter's weakness, and be able to expose those weaknesses, uh, Shaver did that from the beginning, and then Nick Atkins was as solid as you can be. Victory was solid. I mean, tremendous job. The defense was good. Um, we talked about this. That was about as well played a game. I mean, the ninth inning, yeah, but that was about as well played a game as we can play. We had great energy level from the get-go. Our communication was good. Um, our at-bats, if we had a bad at-bat, we did a better job the next time with our approach executed hit and runs we were aggressive on the base pass that was as complete as we can do that's something we can look back on and say this is what you're capable of doing if we continue to do the things we talk about in our training and what our focus is each day you mentioned the improvement in the at bats it was a two nothing game going to the eighth yeah. inning and it just felt like at some point your offense was going to burst out and it happens there in the eighth inning what did you see from a guy like killian daughtry coming off the bench and some of that bottom of the lineup coming through well it was big and i think the aggressiveness on the base pass taking advantage maybe of uh, the ability of for us to be able to run the base has created some uh, uh pressure is what we try to do, open up some holes, and then people obviously got to get the hits. Obviously, Daughtry did that. The ability to steal some bags, get some guys in scoring position uh, was great. I mean, we had some guys who you can say on the box score didn't have hits, but were doing a great job as far as quality at-bats. John Sharp, who came back from an injury, had a tremendous day at the plate as far as hard contacts and driving the ball middle backside. Tyler Thompson, Jordan Griffin, Really quality at bats, what we're looking for. The 20 year olds got to remember it's not whether you go three for four, it's just all I can control is putting the barrel on the ball hard. And what happens from there is out of my hands. When we realize that, we can enjoy the game and enjoy the process more. But if we just think about, well, I was 0 for four, hit the ball hard four times and I'm upset, it's going to be a long season for you. And I think these guys are starting to understand that. You mentioned that it was a pretty complete game. A lot of your guys were up at 7 a.m. this morning. Long bus yes. ride over here. Yes. Start of a road trip. What's it say about your ball club right now that you're able to start this road trip with this kind of an effort on a long day? I agree. And again, the energy level from, from BP on was great. Loose enjoying the, the idea that here we are, we're enjoying this experience of being in Gastonia, North Carolina, Belmont Abbey's uh, campus. Enjoy that, because we're here. Why not enjoy it? And they did that. But it all goes back to your upper class. They have to set the tone of, do we have to be here or we get to be here? It was, we get to be here, let's enjoy it, versus like, well, we have to play this game. Boy, that's a fine line. And when you get guys to realize that we get to do this versus have to, or you're going to have fun and enjoy the experience.